Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the only four exercises you need to grow your butt. Get ready to sculpt those glutes and build some serious strength because these exercises are proven to target your booty from all angles. We'll be breaking down each exercise step by step, ensuring you have the correct form to maximize those gains and prevent any injuries. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to seeing results, so get ready to put in the work. Are you ready to transform your booty? Let's get started. All right, let's start with the king of all glute exercises, the squat. Squats are a fundamental exercise that should be a staple in everyone's fitness routine, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned athlete. This compound movement works not just your glutes, but also your quads, hamstrings, and core. It's a powerhouse exercise that engages multiple muscle groups, making it incredibly efficient for building strength and burning calories. Talk about a full body blast. Squats can be done anywhere, anytime, and they can be modified to suit any fitness level. Whether you're in a gym or at home, squats are versatile and effective. Now, for the perfect squat form stand with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed outwards. This stance helps you maintain balance and ensures that you engage the right muscles. Keep your chest up, core engaged, and back straight. This alignment is crucial for preventing injuries and maximizing the effectiveness of the exercise. Imagine you're sitting back into a chair, lowering your hips until your thighs are parallel to the ground. This visualization can help you achieve the correct depth and form. Make sure your knees track over your toes, but don't cave inwards. Proper knee alignment is essential for protecting your joints and ensuring a safe workout. Push through your heels to return to the starting position. Remember quality over quantity. It's better to do fewer reps with perfect form than to rush through and risk injury. Focus on maintaining proper form throughout the entire movement. Use a mirror or ask a friend to check your form if you're unsure. If you're new to squats, start with bodyweight squats and gradually increase the weight as you get stronger. This progression helps you build a solid foundation and prevents overloading your muscles too soon. Trust me, you'll feel those glutes working. The burn is a sign that you're engaging your muscles effectively and making progress. For an extra challenge, try sumo squats with your feet wider apart. This variation targets your inner thighs and adds a new dimension to your workout. Or Bulgarian squats with your back foot elevated. This advanced move increases the intensity and works on your balance and coordination. Remember, variety is key to keep those muscles guessing and growing. Incorporate different squat variations into your routine to challenge your body and prevent plateaus. Happy squatting! Next up, we're taking a big step forward with lunges. This exercise targets your glutes, quads, and hamstrings while also improving your balance and coordination. To perform a lunge, stand with your feet hip width apart. Take a big step forward with your right foot and lower your body until both knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. Keep your front knee aligned with your ankle and don't let it go past your toes. Push through your front heel to return to the starting position and repeat on the other side. Want to level up your lunges? Try walking lunges where you alternate legs as you walk forward or challenge yourself with reverse lunges stepping back instead of forward. Remember, proper form is crucial. Keep your back straight, core engaged, and don't rush the movement. Feel that burn in your glutes? That's how you know it's working. Hash, 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 chapter three hip thrusts, the ultimate glute activator. This exercise is a game changer for anyone looking to build strong, powerful glutes. Whether you're an athlete, a fitness enthusiast, or just someone who wants to improve their lower body strength, Hip thrusts are a must-have in your workout routine. Get ready to feel the burn with hip thrusts. This movement not only targets your glutes, but also engages your hamstrings and core, providing a comprehensive lower body workout. It's perfect for enhancing your athletic performance, improving your posture, and even boosting your overall stability. This exercise isolates your glutes like no other, maximizing their activation and growth. By focusing on the glutes, you can achieve a more toned and sculpted lower body. Plus, strong glutes can help alleviate lower back pain and improve your overall mobility. To perform a hip thrust, sit on the floor with your upper back resting against a bench or sturdy surface. This setup ensures that you have a stable base to lift from, allowing you to focus on the movement without worrying about balance. Your feet should be flat on the floor, hip width apart, and knees bent. 
This position helps to engage your glutes effectively and ensures that your knees are aligned with your toes, preventing any unnecessary strain on your joints. Engage your core and drive through your heels to lift your hips off the ground. This movement should be controlled and deliberate, focusing on squeezing your glutes as you lift. Engaging your core helps to stabilize your spine and prevent any arching of the lower back. Squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement, then slowly lower back down. The key is to maintain tension in your glutes throughout the entire range of motion. This ensures that you're getting the most out of each rep and effectively targeting the muscles. Make sure your back stays straight and your ribs don't flare. Keeping a neutral spine is crucial for preventing injury and ensuring that the glutes are doing the majority of the work. If you feel any discomfort in your lower back, reassess your form and make necessary adjustments. You should feel the tension primarily in your glutes, not your lower back. If you're feeling it in your lower back, it might be a sign that your form is off. Focus on engaging your glutes and driving through your heels to correct this. To increase the intensity, try adding weight by placing a barbell or dumbbell across your hips. Adding weight challenges your muscles further and helps to build strength and muscle mass over time. Ensure that the weight is evenly distributed and that you're comfortable with the added resistance. Remember to start light and gradually increase the weight as you get stronger. It's important to prioritize form over the amount of weight you're lifting. As you become more confident and your glutes get stronger, you can progressively add more weight to continue challenging yourself and making gains. Hash 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 Chapter 4 Deadlifts Building Strength and a Powerful Posterior Last but not least, we have deadlifts. This exercise is often referred to as the king of all lifts, and for good reason. This compound exercise works your entire posterior chain, including your glutes, hamstrings, and back. It's a full body movement that not only builds strength but also improves your posture and stability. Stand with your feet hip width apart, with a barbell or dumbbells in front of you. Make sure your feet are firmly planted on the ground. Hinge at your hips and lower the weight towards the ground, keeping your knees slightly bent, keeping your back straight and core engaged. This is crucial to avoid any injury and to maximize the effectiveness of the exercise. Make sure to push your hips back and keep the bar close to your body throughout the movement. This helps in maintaining balance and control. Drive through your heels to lift the weight back up, ensuring that you are using your legs and glutes to power the movement. Squeezing your glutes at the top. This not only helps in building muscle, but also in improving your overall strength. There are two main variations of deadlifts, conventional and Romanian. Each has its own unique benefits and can be incorporated into your workout routine. Conventional deadlifts start with the weight on the ground, requiring you to lift it from a dead stop. While Romanian deadlifts start from a standing position and lower the weight to just below the knees, this variation focuses more on the eccentric phase of the lift. Both variations effectively target your glutes, making them excellent choices for building a strong and powerful posterior. But Romanian deadlifts place more emphasis on the hamstrings and glutes, making them ideal for those looking to improve their lower body strength. While conventional deadlifts engage more of the back muscles, providing a more balanced workout for your entire posterior chain. Incorporating both variations into your routine can help you achieve a well-rounded and strong physique. There you have it, four powerful exercises to help you sculpt the booty of your dreams. Remember, consistency and proper form are key to seeing results. Add these exercises to your workout routine two to three times a week and don't be afraid to challenge yourself with heavier weights or variations as you get stronger. Don't forget to fuel your body with nutritious foods and prioritize rest and recovery for optimal muscle growth. Now go out there and crush your fitness goals. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fitness tips and workouts. Keep pushing, and you'll see the results you want.